Now, from WYDC-TV, this is Big Fox News at 10. Good evening, I'm Scott Beadle with Big Fox News. A man may face felony charges in a crash that killed two people on a motorcycle last July. The victims, husband and wife Harolyn and Matthew Madison, were thrown from their bike when they were hit by a car driven by 19-year-old Caden Charnetsky of Elmira. Charnetsky was charged with operating a motor vehicle while impaired on drugs. Now, the Shimon County District Attorney's Office is considering felony charges against Charnetsky. The investigation is still ongoing. Madison's left behind three children. Today, the Arctic League Broadcast Committee cut down the Christmas tree that will be used for their on-stage telethon. The tree will be transported to the Clemens Center by Gary's Towing Service on Saturday, where it will be decorated by volunteers from the Elmira Little Theater. The decorations are loaned from the Christmas House in Elmira. This year, the tree selected comes from Catlin resident Matt Steve, rather, Steve Matkowski. This is not the first time that Matt Kowski has, been, has had a tree selected for the event either. He grows Christmas trees as a hobby and gives them to his family and friends every year. Five years ago, they had came and picked another tree that was the sister to this tree right here. Okay, So when I heard that they were accepting applications for new trees, I got a hold of Tom Seed and sent him three pictures of it and said, you know, it's available if you guys are looking for a tree. And pretty soon he emailed me back and he had said we were going to come up and look at the tree. Oh, it'll be great because my three grandsons are going down to light the tree with one of my daughters. I trim them every year. Oh. From about the time they're three to four foot tall, I will start to trim those. And they're trimmed once a year, usually between late May to middle of July, the trees get pruned. That tree's about 25 years old. Turned out very good. You can see the decorated tree this Sunday during the Arctic League's broadcast from 10 to 1. You can stop by the Clemens Center in person or call in donations. More snow is in the forecast, but looks like we'll get to melt some of it as well. Chief Meteorologist Chris Summers has details on a bit of a warm up next in our Big Fox forecast. Here's your local stock market update from Big Fox. Now, your Twin Tiers forecast from Big Fox. And welcome back, everyone. Still seeing a few light snow showers and flurries making their way through parts of the Twin Tiers. Seeing a bit heavier snow just to our north and to our east. Ithaca, Cortland, up to Syracuse, for example, could be seen maybe an inch to two inches. We may see a dusting to maybe an inch or two inches here in Corning, Elmira as well. Future radar at 10 o'clock then does show that most of the activity kind of very light and really kind of diminishing by early tomorrow morning. 8 o'clock in the morning, maybe a few flurries still left over, but really not expecting too much. Actually, warmer weather coming back in. That may actually lead to rain as we see our next system approaching. And actually, a little cloud cover we're developing well off to our east or to our west, I should say, over in parts of extreme western New York and also western parts of Pennsylvania. That next system will bring some warmer weather back, but also bring some rain chances to the area as well. For tonight, though, temperature wise, not too bad. We're going to be close to freezing, maybe a couple degrees below freezing. So a few flurries, cloudy skies, a little breezy, though. Wind chills back into the 20s in most areas. So cloudy skies for your Thursday. A little rain moves in on Friday. Some of that rain could last into the weekend. That means warmer temperatures are in the forecast here as we head to the first week weekend of December. Take a look at our uh, forecast map Then a few flurries hanging around the area as we head into the day on Thursday. Still pretty chilly out there, but again, it looks like warmer weather gets here just in time for the weekend. Rain moves in on Friday, 39, 42 on Saturday. Could be as warm as 57 though by Sunday afternoon. And that could come with more rain chances as well. Maybe just a couple showers. Now, we do get colder next week, so really can't enjoy the warm weather too much as temperatures will get back into the mid to upper 30s for highs once again by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. And that may lead to a few more flurries or light snow showers with temperatures overnight dipping into the 20s. But definitely got to get out and enjoy that 57 on Sunday if you can. That's going to melt away a lot of that snow out there. We'll take it. There you go. At least getting, for one, one day at least. Yeah, and one. getting the lows that are the highs on other days <laughs> there. So, you Looking know. pretty good for the next seven days temperature-wise. Yeah. 
holy cow, this next steer in Australia is going viral for its utterly impressive size. Nicker stands at around six feet, four inches, and weighs more than a ton. Videos show seven-year-old Nickers just towering over fellow members of the herd. Not only is Nickers gaining popularity worldwide on social media, he also gets to live an elongated life. His owner says Nickers was too heavy and wouldn't be able to get put through a processing facility. Farmer says Nickers has been put to work since leading and coaching the other cattle. Interesting. I don't think I've ever seen a, a cow that big. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how coaching works. You, right. <laughs> you, you know, as they say in sports, he might, you can't teach size. Right, he might just move them around, maybe just kind of maybe. butts them around. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.